an open source software to take pictures and make a KML file. It uses the metadata to overlay on Google Maps to show exactly where a picture was taken. Uh, as you can see, I've got Google Maps up here. This is a, an asset run for transmission power lines. And then you can see where I've actually taken some pictures. And it shows exactly where the pictures were taken. The cool thing about this is when you click on these pins, the pictures actually come up and uh, makes it really nice to have a data set for a customer. I can't show you this one. This has got confidential things I cannot disclose about. So I'm going to show you how this works. So stand by here and uh, let me move on to the next aspect. All right, now we're back to the desktop. So uh, Mapillage is open source software, like I said. Search the website, real easy. Um, it's a photo KML generator for Google Earth. As you can see, that's how it kind of works there. Mapillage is free software. It's under Apache license version 2.0 and works on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. So pretty much anything you have, you can you can do. Uh, you can draw a path between the place marks, customizable photo reference, dynamic description generator. Um, use a photo or a pen as a marker, name place marks by file name or date pattern. So a lot of different stuff you can do. So just a quick little rundown. When you download the program, it's gonna come in. Um, it'll be in a zipped folder. You, know, you have to decompress that. I recommend putting it on the, the uh, desktop. When you decompress it, you're gonna have a folder like this. And then here's the actual file. This is the exe that runs. So when you click it, it's going to bring up a command prompt and it's going to go to the GUI after that. As the GUI pops up, you can see I've already had some other stuff going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a new job here. And what I'm going to do, we're going to do a storm drain. So we're using this for particular items on transmission power lines. Uh, you can use it on uh, pipelines. You can use it on assets to find specific assets that you wanted to. Um, storm drains of public works, this would come in handy. Even something like potholes, taking a picture and then laying out on a road where these potholes are. So I'm just going to put in storm drain location. Now an important part here is you see the image directory. Now it's going to go into my username and it's going to pull every file on this computer and make a mess. That's the default directory. So you're going to want to change that right now. Um, I was making this video originally with some of the information I had. I don't want to run because of confidentiality agreements with uh, certain data that I have. I blurred it out. I just I decided it was better to reshoot this thing and redo it here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go on my desktop here. And what I did right now, we're in a hotel room. We've been working around all over the place and decided to just snap pictures of the storm drain and show the overlay on the map. So we're going to go to storm drain here, select folder, done. File patterns, JPEG. I think you can change that also to like bitmaps or TIFF files, depending on what you've got. The subdirectories follow links and include photos without coordinates. Well, the subdirectories and follow links are for a lot larger projects. For the project I'm doing here, it's fairly small, so I'm not worried about it. I do not want photos without coordinates. You could add that in, and it will add them. But you re this program is really designed for making a CAML file. On the folders, you need to do a, a root folder name. So I'm just going to put storm here. It will make a folder. This is for larger stuff. Subfolders, you need directory name, uh, date pattern, first file path, so path. Now you can show the path between each place mark or specific areas around where a place mark was done. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do it on this one. I normally don't do it, but we're going to go ahead and do it and show you how it works out. You can split these by the month, day, week, or hour. Place marks, we're just going to use, well, we'll just do no name here. Um, if you wanted to name them like specific assets or um, it could be really anything or a date pattern depending on the dates. So well, let's just do the date pattern. Let's see how it goes. All right, symbol on the map. 
the biggest thing with this is if you have a lot of data points in a small area, I suggest not doing a photo or if you have it intermixed with other KML files. So with this, I prefer a pen. The pen makes a nice small little pen, much like this pen here on the map. And when you click on it, you'll get the thumbnail of the actual photograph and then the location uh, based on the metadata when you took it. And then there's also a timestamp. So we're gonna go ahead and do pen description. We can do altitude and bearing. And this is gonna show you the altitude above ground and the bearing coordinate date file name and the photo itself. You can also customize it and it uses, a, oh, I don't even know what language, like an HTML type language here. And then on the photo, you can do the max height, max width, thumbnail, relative, absolute, or absolute path could be a URL. So you could click on it and it would take you to a URL that had the pictures on it if you wanted to. Um, and then force lowercase file extension. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. We got storm drain, storm drain location. All right, so something with this uh, this software on the screen recording does not like running over five minutes. So I don't know if it's a setting or whatnot. But anyways, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and play. We hit the play, it's gonna ask for an output. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the folder that I'm using, go to the desktop. We're gonna go to storm drain, and that should output the file, KML file to that folder. Now, storm drain map, and I'm gonna hit save. There it is, it's done. So now it's gonna automatically open the compilation or the completion of the file, and it's gonna show all the data there. Give it a second here, and it will be up and running. Computer. Of course, the day I'm shooting this is the day that the computer's going to be extra, extra slow. All right, so you can see here, there's the polygon, there's the map, and you can see that there's actually no hotel here. This thing was built fairly recently. You can see where it was. So right here, you've got your different pins. There's two of them. There's a fall line here with uh, two different sections. So if I click on these, it'll show you in which order they were taken. That's the first one I took, second one I took, third one, fourth and fifth. So let's click on the first one. You're gonna see here's the actual storm drain location. And then it's gonna show you uh, altitude. I guess that's above sea level, 62 meters roughly. Um, I'm pointing at 305 degrees, so almost due north. And here's the actual coordinates for this. Um, same with the second one. This would also come in handy for doing a uh, photo mosaic map and then actually having detailed information on specific areas around that map. So with the double KML overlay on Google Earth, you have a high resolution uh, map uh, with Google Earth and it could be in three dimensional also. And then you could actually have the, uh, the data uh, shown here. You can see where the parking lot begins to fall let me go here and let me see if I can spin this. There we go. You can see here where the actual parking lot falls and here's the lower section of the parking lot and it falls there. So really neat program, it's free to use. It's great for doing a data set. We used it on the transmission line for a specific uh, customer that was looking for some data. And uh, I spent a lot of time trying to find a program that would do this. This one worked great. It took me almost six hours to find it on the internet to find this thing. Once I found it, it's great. It's easy to use. Um, we weren't sure like exactly what the customer's expectation for the data presentation they were looking for. I put this together. They sent it the way it was. The customer was happy with it. Talked to him the other day. Super happy. He loved it. So I figured I'd show some people on how to do this and what program it works for. And we'll get some demonstrations later on some of the better stuff that you can do with this program. So it's just kind of an intro. Um, so once again, thanks, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You guys can hit the subscribe button, hit the, the bell icon to be notified when I got new videos uploaded. I've got a couple of videos that have been on the burner for a while. I haven't got to them. I'm really busy. One of them is going to be pretty good. We've got a pretty significant crash on a very large drone during the testing. Uh, due to a failed part, but I'm not going to give too much information away. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, and 
you know, the bell icon to be notified when the new ones come out. Thanks for watching.